Hello and welcome to my channel and today I will have a tutorial regarding uh, the Cakewalk by BandLab. Now I have a problem with the Easy Drummer plugin because I want that plugin to be on my Cakewalk by BandLab. The problem is it's not detecting. So uh, let's take a look at our uh, Cakewalk. I'm gonna show you what I meant by that. Now it says it's scanning for a plugin, but um, it says zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pick it up some new project real quick. All right, so when you open the Cakewalk here in my settings, it's like this the default will have this two kind of channels one is the audio and this for midi but we're not going to focus with that right now so we're just going to right click and delete this one and delete this one all right once again my aim here is to put the easy drummer by tone track plug in so so in order for us to see the plugin we have to go to the edit menu then to preferences and then we're going to scroll down here in VSD settings. Okay, so good. Now here it says the VSD path is uh, this guy uh, VSD plugins, common files, VSD3, uh, Steinberg, things like that. Now Going back to my desktop, I have to run the Easy Drummer software. Here, it says 64 bit and it has a standalone app aside from the DLL, aside from the plugin. It can also run by itself. So, here it is. In order for us to see the path of this Easy Drummer plugin, we have to go right here, here in Help. Now the Easy Drummer says, uh, "See program files, common files, BST3, Tom Track, Easy Drummer, Delay, things like that." All right. So we're going to find this plugin to this uh, path right here, and we're going to follow that. All right. So click OK. Now here we're going to add the path. See. Mm, see and then program files then common files and it's this bst3 uh, tom track correct let's check it again program files common files bst3 tom trial easy driver dll so it's gonna be right to this folder right here so let's just click ok and add that one and it is scanning then it says zero new zero remove zero errors that means uh, this plugin right here is not loaded now we have a problem here so let's click scan still nothing all right so let's just apply it and click close now Okay, over here in our plugin uh, tab, we're going to look for that. And let's click on this slide here, the uh, virtual instruments. All right, Easy Drummer is actually a drum, so let's click on here to see if there is Easy Drummer and there is nothing. Nothing. I mean, nothing. Okay, let's close this one. All right, so I figured it out and here's how we're going to do that. Let's close this one. We'll also close this one. So first we're gonna do is uh, right click this 
guy the cakewalk and then open the file location go back a little bit here can you see this it says VST plugins and this is where all the folders of the plugins are located so I tried to paste the DLL of easy driver to this directory right here which is located here remember this path right the program files common files bst3 and contract so here is the easy drummer dll i'm going to copy that one here and paste it here then yeah continue let's reduce maybe and let's press some refresh here After that we're going to run the cake walk again and it says easy drummer DLL one new all right so that's a good sign so let's take a look at it let's run for a basic uh, new project real quick these two default here let's remove them okay now going back to your virtual instruments you can go ahead and check the drums tab and you can find the easy drummer then double click uh, press ok and there should be a new track added to this Track here with easy drummer on it all right and click the instrument icon then it's live it's playing then you can go to your piano rule try to write some music so that's it guys easy as that all right so that's it for today thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like my video